What is up, Scorpio? What's going on? We're going to take a look at your week ahead. We're going to look at Jan, I was going to say July. It came out July, January 12th, which is today through January 19th to 2020. But as you all know, time's fluid. So just whenever this hits home. So this is for you. If you are Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio, hit that like button for me, please. Leave your comments. Share the video with someone who you think may benefit. If y'all need a private reading, as always, my website is right there below. Go book your reading. My Instagram is below as well. So follow me over there. Sometimes I say bad words. So if you're new to my channel, just hard left if that's going to offend you. But I hope you stick around. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's coming in for you guys. The 12th through the 19th, 2020. What is up for Scorpio? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Typically, my readings are love, but it's just whomever you have on your mind, Scorpio. It could be the person that you saw at the grocery store the other day. <clears throat> it could. It could be the milkman. It could be the guy at the dry cleaning store. It's just whomever you're thinking about, Scorpio. All right, one more shuffle. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. This is the 12th through... The 19th, 2020, what's up? What is the main message for Scorpio? All right, what happened in the past? Scorpio, well, the hermit. Somebody decided to go ghost, perhaps. Virgo energy. What's going on right now? We've got the two of swords, a blockage, ignoring. I'm getting a lot of withdrawal so far, Scorpio. Did you pull away from somebody? Did they pull away from you? Needing to make a decision with the Two of Swords. Swords is about communication, our mental energy, but the Two of Swords is also blocking someone out or ignoring them. Person you're dealing with, what's on their mind? The devil, sign of Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. They feel stuck. They may deem the connection as toxic, toxic in some way. They could be going through their own uh, toxicities addictions, fear, whatever the hell it is, we're going to clarify. They could feel stuck to you or obsess, obsessively thinking about it because maybe you've pulled away, you're withdrawing. Remember, the energy could be switched. So take it how it resonates. How do they view you? What's their perception? The ace of wands. They could think that you want a new beginning with them, but I'm not really getting this because there's a lot of withdrawal. Somebody is viewing the other person as wanting a new beginning. There's a spark going towards, this is typically new for me, and it's it's something creative or a passion or going for something here. Their, their perception of you is that you either want a new beginning with them or you just want a new beginning. You have a passion for something. I think it's something new, but we'll see. What's going on in their emotions? The Queen of Pentacles. Well, who is this? Got a lot of Capricorn energy. Are they thinking about a Capricorn? Queen of Pentacles is a Capricorn. She's a wife. She's a commitment. She represents stability. This could certainly be what they want with you. But, you know, what's this queen doing showing up in a Scorpio reading? We have to ask ourselves. Okay, let's check it. How do they see moving forward with you, the world? Fixed energy, so there you are. So see, maybe they're thinking about ending it, or you've ended it. Uh, goals have been reached. We've completed some sort of cycle. They might be in something else here, Scorpio. We need to see what that is. What's going on behind the scenes? The Ten of Wands, a lot of burdens, guilt, shame. It's a completion of a cycle. You're, you're completing something with someone. But they may want to start a new cycle and commit with you, too. We just have to see what that is. What's your advice? It's the Six of Cups. Somebody's dealing with somebody from the past. You're dealing with somebody other than this person, or they're dealing with somebody from the past. The past is showing up here. It's a strong connection. Maybe somebody has kids. It's right under the Queen of Pentacles. So are they dealing with a past person? Scorpio. What's the outcome for you guys? Well, it's you. Hi, Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, energy, maybe you're dealing with another water sign. Queen of Cups is very intuitive, healing. But if you notice in the right away, look, that cup's closed. I feel like Scorpio is not offering this cup because it's just this relationship is too burdensome and it's time to close out the cycle. This person's either stuck to you like white to rice or they have somebody else in their energy. But I think if they do, you know that intuitively and you're blocking it out. You're pulling away and going towards something new. This Queen of Cups has very healing energy as well. Yeah, she does offer emotion, but only when it's right to do so, okay? There's a lot of intuition going on here and a lot of healing. 
What's at the bottom of the deck? The Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Maybe you were dealing with somebody who was Knight of Wands energy and you're just tired of it. <clears throat> or this is somebody just getting on that horse and taking off. Because the Knight of Wands is a traveler in tarot. The Knight of Wands is typically going. He loves to exit, but he doesn't like to stay. Um, he's a traveler and he's going towards something passionate. Something that has your va 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 boom going, Scorpio. Or this is the person you were dealing with, maybe kind of in and out type energy. All right, let's clarify this bad bitch of a reading, Scorpio, and see what you guys can expect. All right, this again is the energy, the 12th through the 19th, 2020. What's up for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What can they expect today, the 12th through the 19th, or just whenever this resonates, whenever you're watching this, okay? What's the energy for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Clarify this bad bitch of a reading for Scorpio. What's up? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does Scorpio need to know? A couple more shuffles. What do they need to know about this person that's on their mind? What does the energy look like? All right. Let's do it. Let's cut it and do it and see what's going on. Let's check out that overall energy. We have a Knight of Wands. I feel like somebody's just taking off. What's this Knight of Wands about? Again, maybe you were dealing with somebody that was just kind of not really about giving you any sort of stability. What's this Knight of Wands about? Leo Sag Aries, the Six of Wands, victory. I feel like Scorpio, this is your energy. Um, I feel like this person, the connection was very kind of flady. They weren't really bringing stability, but they would ride in and they liked the attention that they got with the six of wands, but then they probably rode right on out. A lot of Leo energy there. And I also feel for a lot of Scorpios, you guys are just heading out and it's really a victory. You want to get the recognition that you deserve. What's the six of wands? Yeah, 10 of swords. You're riding out and you're putting an end to it. Kind of picking up from last week's reading, I understand, but you know, the Ten of Swords, you're ending something you feel probably betrayed, or they do. What's the Six of, uh, I'm sorry, the Ten of Swords, you may feel like this person's kind of a playboy, playgirl, and they get attention other places, and you just had it. Yep, letting go of it, Four of Pentacles in reverse. You probably were holding on to this connection for a while with that Ten of Swords, and then, you know, with the Four of Pentacles, holding on tightly but in reverse finally letting it go somebody pulled away here in the past we have the uh, hermit maybe gone ghost or withdrawn trying to figure some shit out and then we have the eight of pentacles maybe just diving into work too like really pulling away from this person you're putting work into either yourself or literally your job what's this eight of pentacles in the past for scorpio there you guys are. I always feel like the judgment card is scorpionic energy. Making a decision. What was this decision? So really taking stock of the past. For me, the really going within and putting some work into this decision or into yourself. The judgment card for me is a decision, um, but it's also release with a ton of cups in reverse. Because this person just was not bringing you happily ever after. Getting very in and out energy. And I think Scorpio had it. Ten of Cups in reverse is like, you're just causing me dissatisfaction. I don't see you as the person that I can have marriage or family. You're not giving me that. And so there was a big decision that was made here. So currently the energy between you and this person, we have a Two of Swords, Libra and Energy, and the Queen of Wands. I think you guys are ignoring this person and you're just moving forward. We have two queens here, Scorpio, in the reading that aren't you. I mean, you could certainly have fire or earth in your chart. What's this Queen of Wands? Queen of Wands is getting her mojo back. She's feeling passionate, confident, moving forward. What's this uh, Queen of Wands about? Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Going towards your stability, financial stability, security within your home, family. What's this Ten of Pentacles about? It's a commitment. And the King of Swords. Some of you have um, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius coming in that you're going to build long term with. You're, you're feeling confident. You're feeling good. This person is very attracted to you. But I think that this current energy, you're just blocking someone out or ignoring them. Who's this King of Swords? Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's waiting to come in at the right time for Scorpio, it looks like. The Seven of Pentacles is there's been some hard work put into the situation. I feel like this is somebody separate from this other person that you've withdrawn from. You have somebody else in your environment, Scorpio, that's doing a lot of reflecting and waiting. 
Now, on the purse, this other person's mind is the devil. Sign of, of Capricorn. Why is the devil on this person's mind? What is it? The fool. Sign of Aries. Why is the fool here? Zero major arcana. So starting again. This person's just kind of flighty. Like the fool is all about traveling, taking risks, leap and bounds. They're not really about a commitment necessarily. They just kind of want to be free. What just fell out on the floor is the hanged man in reverse. Pisces editor. Yeah, this person is releasing because they feel that there's some sort of connection between you guys that's just kind of toxic, right? It probably is some sort of karmic tie here and they really want to travel towards something new and they're just not budging. You know, either you or this person and the connection has been unwilling to change their ways and to budge. And so now there's no more of that. There's no more waiting on this person's mind. There's release. Why is the hanged one here? And the star, sign of Aquarius. And manifesting, you know, dreams and healing. I think there's a lot of healing going on here on this person's mind from something that they felt very stuck to for a while. Yeah, the nine of swords. And I do feel like this is some sort of karmic um, twin flame soulmate, if you believe in that shit. Or at least this person thinks that. And so because of the nine of swords, they're still, they're worried about it, but they know that they have to release because there's a lot of withdrawal now. They view you as the ace of wands. They may think that you're in another relationship, Scorpio. What's this ace of wands going towards something like that with the tower? Sign of Scorpio. So there you go. You go. Also Aries energy. I love this deck. This is pretty. This is the golden tarot. I don't even know. I, I think it's called the golden tarot, but look, they're falling out. So you've had an epiphany that you're just ready to like go towards something new, I think. Um, may have come as quite a shock to them. What's this tower energy? It's a, it's a breaking apart of something that's just weak. Yep. And they think that you're releasing because you felt like this was just built on shit, basically. They view you as that. And it's because you pulled away. You pulled away from something here. You finally kind of were like, you know what? I just have to take myself out of the situation and withdraw. Now, in their emotions, what do they have? They have a queen of pentacles. So who is this? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, energy. Who's this queen of pentacles? The three of pentacles. Hmm. What's the three of pentacles? I feel like this is somebody else, Scorpio, in their energy. They may have started a new relationship or they have a new relationship on their mind or just build going towards commitment because the queen of pentacles is a commitment we have the three of pentacles what's this here building teamwork yeah and then the knight of pentacles could be work i mean there's a lot of pentacles here but i feel like this is somebody else scorpio because you've shut them out maybe you shut them out because you suspected they were in something else but this knight of pentacles is building towards a commitment they're dating or they have somebody that they have their eye on here that they want to move towards. What are they doing with the Knight of Pentacles? It's moving slowly. Five of Wands. Competition. Yeah, I kind of feel like there's somebody else. But I don't, I think for the majority of the Scorpios I'm reading for, you won't really care. Because you've decided to release this person anyway. How do they see moving forward with you? The world? Why? Scorpionic energy. The Emperor. Sign of Aries. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. I feel like they're setting some boundaries. I feel that they feel you guys have kind of reached the end of the line. Like you've reached goals. You've learned lessons. It's time to close out this connection probably is how they're seeing you guys move forward. With the Emperor energy, they're just kind of trying to regain control and stability over their life right now. They could be setting some boundaries. Um, yeah. And then we have the Ace of Cups. See, I was feeling like this person had new love. And I do. I feel like they do. If they don't, that's what they're going for. That's what they want. Chapters ended with you and they want to go towards new love. And they feel like you have passion towards something new too. What's this Ace of Cups for this person moving forward? The King of Pentacles in reverse. Probably dealing with somebody that just would never give you commitment. They, were, they weren't bringing you stability. It was very much about them. The King of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus could be very selfish. And I think Scorpio's just had enough. What's this King of Pentacles in reverse? Queen of Swords in reverse. I say have, you've had enough. A lot of times Scorpios will come out as a Queen of Swords when they've had enough. They're cutting something out. You're pissed. You're just, you had it. You probably let them have it too with words. You know, the Queen of Swords in reverse has kind of been pushed to their limit. 
they've been hurt, they've been scorned, because you guys have been dealing with somebody that's this King of Pentacles in reverse. You know, it's just enough. Six of Pentacles. They know, they realize that you wanted a more balanced relationship than they could give. Going on behind the scenes is the Ten of Wands. What's this about? Why is this here? The Four of Swords. Pulling away, withdrawing, closing out a cycle that's been very long, very burdensome. It's caused a lot of worry. And it's just pulling away from that, recovering and healing. I think you guys are both doing that. What's this Four of Swords about? The Seven of Wands. Blocking out, ignoring, fighting for what you want, fighting your cause, taking your own path, fighting for your beliefs, and, and being very defensive and guarded, pulling away from all of these burdens and getting some rest and some recovery from something that was very toxic, something that probably had you both stuck in for a while. Again, I'm getting like a lot of karmic ties here. Lessons have been learned though. I mean, that's how this person sees moving forward. I just get the sense that you guys are both moving on to something else. What's this devil? Capricorn energy? Yeah, something else. The page of wands. Moving forward. You could hear from this person, but I feel like in the hidden factors, because this was so toxic and you guys felt so stuck and tied and bound to it, now there's release from that and you're just moving forward towards something new with the page of wands. Is this page of wands? Yeah, something new. Ace of wands, I'm telling you. You guys have a new relationship or a new creative endeavor, something that you're passionate about. And this person knows that energetically. They know that you feel like this is just built on shit and you're releasing from it. And in the hidden factors, I think you guys are both going towards something new, something that you're taking action towards. What is this? Ace of Wands. The Four of Wands in reverse because there's no commitment or stability with this person. They just weren't giving it to you. And that's very scorpionic. I mean, you guys will hold on for a while. You'll try. You'll try. You'll try. You'll forgive. You'll forgive. You're, you know, you're very, very, Scorpios are very, very loyal. But when the expiration date on the milk... Oh my God, you guys, I'm so sorry. My mem my storage was full and it stopped recording and I didn't even realize. But yeah, where I was going with that is you'll forgive, but once that uh, loyalty has expired, you're done and you move on. And that's why you're at the death card. You will cut it out. I was getting to your advice here and it's, I already pulled the card, so I'm going to go over it, okay? I went through the whole reading, so we're just going to go through it. The past, obviously, with the Six of Cups. Um, but also, your advice is to concentrate on yourself, your family, your children, nurturing yourself as well. All right. And it, we got temperance, clarifying it. So, healing, right? Being very patient also for like the one, the one that you can deem as a true soulmate. Temperance is healing, it's finding that balance. All right. And then we have when I say balance, and then also justice came out to clarify it. When I did the original reading, Libra and energy, but again, balance, fairness, making that decision, right, to concentrate on yourself with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, concentrate on that coin, your work, you know, that kind of thing. Again, I just get the sense that you guys have been dealing with somebody that's very selfish, very much about them, and you've just had it. You've risen from the ashes. This is this was a really badass um, outcome. You had the Queen of Cups. Now, in this particular deck, and the writer, wait, look, that cup's closed. She's looking down. She's really pondering because the Queen of Cups in this particular deck isn't necessarily offering the cup. It's closed. So this is very much about healing and going into your own energy because you're in the upright and being intuitive. And look what clarified it. The Queen of Cups in this deck. But look at the difference. She has one hand on the cup and she's kind of side-eyed. So now she's thinking about offering the emotion. Because why? Healing has taken place and she's one within her spirituality spirituality whether you're male or female it doesn't matter but now because of the healing we're starting to think about opening that cup but we got to be patient because the wheel of fortune came out in reverse so it's just not time right there's still healing that needs to take place scorpio and i think a lot of you guys are okay with that also as i said earlier in the reading i think a lot of you guys were dealing with um a very karmic situation that was just repetitive and this is the universe saying, all right, enough. Like your true match is coming in, but you have to get rid of people that are just selfish and not, are not bringing you what you deserve. What's coming with this wheel of fortune? Yeah, because you're dealing with people that aren't, that are breaking away from giving you what they want. Also too, sometimes the hero fit in reverse Taurus energy is kind of breaking away from spirituality. They need to go through an awakening process. This isn't pers this isn't somebody that would be in tune with spirituality necessarily. 
And then I got the Six of Cups. Again, you're probably dealing with a soulmate. I'm getting more karmic tie here, but the hair fit in reverse, again, it's just not time to like walk that path towards a traditional long-term relationship. I feel like it's coming because I do feel like in this present energy, you have somebody outside of all of this that's like, hmm, I wonder what Scorpio's up to. I know they've been through some shit and this person's kind of just biding their time. Why is this hair fit in the reverse? Yeah, the lover's card, see? soulmate union gemini energy gemini energy and this is making that choice or that decision right it's there's some sort of um I, and it's not necessarily showing with the cards i mean it is with the lovers i feel like there's a divine partnership coming in for you but like there's shit that has to be cleared first there's still stuff that needs to happen um the lovers card is gemini what is this lovers card bringing some sort of union some sort of contract what's what's this um yeah, and then the Page of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like that this is a soulmate contract that you were dealing with that's just expired as well. With the Page of Pentacles in reverse, you stop communicating or you will because you're healing and you're thinking about offering your cup, but you know the time's just not right. That's what I keep getting. Yeah, and then look, the King of Cups. Could be another water sign that you're stopping this, you know, your this union is up, this contract is up. Something like that is what I'm getting. Yeah, because you're just walking away from the manipulation. Five of Swords in Reverse is you want no part of that conflict, the mind games, that kind of thing. Very healing energy for Scorpio. Scorpio putting their foot down is kind of what I'm getting, is the gist of this reading. I think that this person's going towards something new. They know you're going towards something new. Um, I do feel like they have some anxiety about it, and it kind of is hitting me as, oh no, I can't believe Scorpio's finally done it even though this person's kind of ending the chapter with you and moving towards something new. You may have been dealing with somebody that just didn't want you to move on, but didn't want to give you stability or commitment. And you're just putting an end to it is what I see, Scorpio. I love that you're in both cards and the outcome. You're really going to do a lot of reflecting, a lot of spiritual work, and a lot of healing. And then you're going to start to kind of think about opening up that cup. So that's what I have for you. I'm loving you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.